All right, I got my uh, capacitor kit. Uh, this is for the Kenwood TR9000, so it should be good. Uh, has a list of what you get. 63 capacitors. I don't know if that's enough. <laughs> we'll see. I know it has a lot of them in there. And uh, so we'll just check them off as we use them. But let's see what you get. I could have just gone to DigiKey or something and bought them. I don't know if they would have been cheaper, or, but this way it's... I get all the ones that probably are the right ones. There's some. All right, so... Uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, start with one. I think we'll uh, start with this module. This is the uh, CPU module. Uh, so it has uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 capacitors. And uh, yeah, so... Yeah, let me get out my uh, desoldering station and uh, we'll start replacing some capacitors. So I don't know if this has like a lacquer over the solder, like it was soldered down and then uh, this was sprayed with some type of lacquer or something. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be easy to desolder these or not. Yep, so far so good. All right, let's make sure we know which way it goes in. Ground is near me. All right, this one is, these are Elna's, 220, uh, I can't read them, 220 microfarads at 10 volts. Let's look at our list. What did we get? We got 220 at 16 volts. Nice. All right. So if we can find those, I should park, mark these bags. Yeah, let me do that. Let me do that first. So I'll know. Then I'll know what things are. All right, one down. <laughs> All right, there we go. I've got this side. So whenever I changed one capacitor, I put a blue Sharpie on it. So I knew that I had changed that one. Uh, so all of my capacitors have blue Sharpies on them. So there you go, one board down. Okay, the next board I'm gonna do is the power amplifier. So it uses one of those modules. It only has one, two, three, four, five capacitors, but it's got one really big one. Uh, thousand microfarads. So is this the thousand that they give me? Yeah, it's a little bit taller. Oh, no, it's not. It's just skinnier. Well, it is taller. Hopefully it fits. <laughs> Hopefully it fits. I think there's quite a bit of room in this... Uh, In this radio but it is uh, it is dollar so anyway let me get to work on this one all right there we go I've done this one everything's got a blue got a blue mark on it oh I missed one down there no I didn't oh no okay I need to change that one down there but everything else has a blue mark there was one missing capacitor this one right here um, it's a 220 and I'm one short so luckily I already had one uh, but uh, yeah, let me change that one out and then we'll go to the big board uh, Which is this one? Ooh. All right, I put it all back together um, There were a couple uh, Capacitors that were missing um, I don't need to show you but there was a couple couple that were missing uh, This isn't put on right and well, now that it's taken down, I can show you. Uh, I think I marked them in red, yeah. So three of them here, and I think well, two of them over here. Um, I took them out, measured them. I didn't have a value 
to put back in, but they measured okay, so I just left them in, uh, put them right back in again. So maybe someday I'll, oops, someday I'll uh, get around and replace those, but it's more of a fun radio than anything else. Oops. Okay, there we go. Um, and the other thing that made me mad, actually, um, when I first got the kit, I told you about the one big capacitor, and he's in the power amplifier section, and I said, oh, I hope this is short enough, and it's not. It's not short enough. So the one they gave me isn't short enough, and I had to put the original one back in, which is a short job. This is a thousand microfarad. Uh, I took it out, I measured it, still a thousand microfarad, 940, 947. Anyway, I put it back in. I'm not too happy with that one because I would like to change that one someday. I'll have to find a fat one someday. But we can, uh, let's see, we can turn this thing on and uh, see how it performs. See if it's any better. If it's any better. Let's see here. Square with the camera. More pleasing. Okay, so I can turn the power on to push the button. Oh, there we go. All right, so I don't know why we are picking something up. interesting. I turn the squelch up. Um, so let's go ahead and I have my radio test set attached to it with my HP uh, 8921A. Turn it on and I'll transmit at 145 FM. See if we get anything. All right. I think you can hear that. Uh, so, works just fine. All right, so let's go to upper sideband. That sounds crubby, because that's FM. Let's uh, go over here to the analyzer and transmit AM. I can't transmit single sideband, but I can transmit double butt sideband with carrier, otherwise won't known as AM. And, uh, Let me get it. Oh, that's too loud. Too loud. It sounds like it's warming up. Um, let's see, generator. So it is. It is receiving sideband. Might be slightly off frequencies. Yeah. So, if I remember right, I guess I could go back and watch the video. It seemed as though the sideband reception was really bad. And this sounds pretty good. Like, like, I, it seems to be a little bit off in frequencies, but that's probably just, we haven't uh, adjusted that yet. But yeah, I think, uh, I think it's pretty good. We'll have to do a, a transmit test and see if, uh, if it knows how to transmit sideband or not. Let's see. Um, okay, upper sideband, uh, I think we can just talk into it. Let's see, where's the mic gain? Power, volume, gain. I think mic gain's inside. I think it has a fixed mic gain. Um, so yeah, let me uh, go over to the analyzer and see if it can uh, see me transmit. I know this is going to be off camera for a second here. I go to the transmit test here. Hello, test, test, test. Uh, 
Hmm. Tune, manual tune, tune frequency 145 megahertz. Hello, test, hello, test, test. I don't see any power coming out. Let's go to FM and see if it can transmit there. Hello, to, yeah, it's gonna be 10, 10 watts out, 10 watts out on uh, FM, but nothing on sideband, so. Sideband still might be sick. Hello, test. Uh, spectrum analyzer. Hello, test. There we go. Hello, test. Hello, test, hello. You know, it, it's transmitting a little bit. <laughs> transmitting a little bit. I know you can't see that. I know you can't see that. So anyway, uh, let's stop the video here. And uh, next video, we'll put it on a spectrum analyzer and try to, uh, try to see really what's going on here.